Hello everyone. Today in this class, we are going to study about the Friedman's test. So suppose you have not subscribed to my channel, kindly do it. We'll quickly move on to this uh, Friedman's test. What is it, why we are using? We're going to see from the next slide. So what is the Friedman's test first? So it is a non-parametric alternative to one-way ANOVA. Suppose we know how to calculate one-way ANOVA. If you do not know how to calculate one-way ANOVA for a given sum, kindly visit our channel. You can find a separate video for one-way ANOVA. So it is nothing but the alternative to one-way ANOVA with repeated measures. So we'll be finding out ranks in this particular type of uh, sum here. Okay, so how to calculate this? It is a method to test whether any difference exists in treatments across multiple attempts. See, so suppose I'm having a treatment one, okay? First time I'm trying, second time I'm trying, third time I'm trying, so which is the best one? So just wanted to find out, we can use this test. So clearly, so it's an extension of sign test, okay? So sign test to test for differences between groups. Sign test, we'll be doing it a separate video for this, how to find out sign test. We'll be doing a separate video so that you can visit our channel to find out what is a sign test also, okay? Right, so now it is also called as one-way repeated measures ANOVA by racks, okay? So we know what is called ANOVA. Here, we are having a repeated measure ANOVA by racks. So what is it actually? It is used to test for differences between groups. I'm going to find out the difference between groups when the dependent variable being measured is ordinal. When the dependent variable is in ordinal, then I'm going to use this particular test. Okay, now what will be the hypothesis for this? As usual, we'll be having the hypothesis, the population medians are same. So clearly you should understand we are just comparing the medians, not the means here. Okay, now what is the alternative hypothesis is the population medians are different. So we'll be studying this with an example. Uh, <clears throat> before that, I just wanted to tell you what is the formula we're going to use it here, okay? The test statistics is called FR, okay? What is the test statistic? I'm going to use it, it's called FR. I can have like this also, F capital R also I can have it. Okay, so now how we are going to calculate here? It is calculated by 12 by B into K and K plus one and RJ whole square, which is sigma J is equal to one to K. Sometimes this will be written as I is equal to one to P or M, etc. Okay, so it's a simple notation to use it. Three B into K plus one. We are going to see what is this B and what is this K here? Okay, so now, this B is nothing but the number of observations. So we have to find out the number of observations given in this particular sum. We will be taking it as uh, B. So why B we are giving? So usually we'll call this as number of observations as blocks, okay? So we'll be calling this as a blocks. So we'll be taking it as B, okay? So in some books, it will be given as N also. Nothing wrong in that. You have to remember how it is being used. Okay, now what is this K? total number of groups to be measured. Suppose I'm having group one, group two, and group three, then my K will be three, and I have to calculate how many values are there here to calculate the value of B. K is number of, number of total, the total number of groups to be measured. What will be this RJ? RJ is nothing but the sum of ranks of all subjects for the Jth group. See, for example, R1 means, so I have taken the sum of ranks from the first group. R2 means I'm taking the ranks from second group. R3 means I'm taking the sum of ranks from third group. So I'm going to add it because sigma is given. So I'm going to add all these ranks and I'm going to take it. Okay, so this is how uh, the formula is uh, being uh, used here. Okay, so now we'll be having an example here. Three drugs were given to each person. Okay, so only one person has been taken and uh, there are three drugs given to him. Okay, A, B, C, three drugs. I'm going to take it in a group of five patients. Okay, I'm taking the first person. I am giving drug A, drug B, drug C for him. I'm taking second person. I'm giving drug A, drug B, drug C. Similarly, third person, fourth person, five person. I'm going to give the drug A and B. 
and to treat some disease, for example. Okay, whatever may be that. I don't want to give a, a separate disease name here. Okay, the reaction time of each drug is tabulated below. So, how much reaction time it takes? A takes how much reaction time? B takes how much reaction? C takes how much reaction time for this particular uh, person? I'm going to tabulate it. So, now what I'm going to measure it here. Can we claim that all the drugs have the same effect, reaction? See, what is the effect here? It is nothing but the reaction time at 5% level of significance is being asked. So how to go about it? Okay, so I'm going to tabulate the values here. So that drug A is given as, okay, the person one, person two, person three, person four, person five. Five persons are there here. The patient, I can have it as a patient, okay? Patient one, this is patients, for example. Okay, I don't want to give a separate column for this or rows here, right? So drug A is given, 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 given. This is the reaction time given to you. So how to go about it? First, we have to set up the hypothesis here. All drugs have the same effect. That's the reaction time. So now H uh, A will be at least two of them. So you have to note down here, you have to write like this, at least two of them, because three uh, groups are given here, at least two of them differ from each other. We have to take the uh, hypothesis like this. Now, alpha, as usual, we are going to have 0 0.05. Then how to calculate this? So now we have to note down here the calculate rank for each row. It is different from what we have done already. In the previous videos and all, we used to have a combined ranks and all. Here, it is rows, okay? So you have to follow the ranks in rows. This is the very, very important point. You have to note it down here. Okay, I'm going to rank it in the... Uh, See, drug A values I've given here, drug B, drug C, I have given the values. This is what is given. Now, take this row now, okay? So now, take this row, okay? So which is the smallest value? 1.21, so I am ranked it as 1. Which is the next smallest? 1.50, rank it as 2. Which is the next one? Rank it as 3. Similarly, which is the smallest one here? 1, strange, 2, 3, as usual it is coming. Now here, if you go, this is one and this is two, the rank next, and this is three. Like this, I'm going to do it for the rows here. Now, which is the smallest one? This is the smallest one. Okay, so rank one, this is the next rank, this is the next rank. Similarly, which is the smallest one here? 1.23, so rank one, rank two, rank three. This is how we will be ranking it for the rows. It's not for combined group. It's not for the columns, but I have to take the rank because this one particular value is called one block here, okay? So one block, so it is the paired value. See, 1.24, 1.50, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 1.22, 1.23, 1.24, 1.25, 1.26, 1.27, 1.28, 1.29, 1.30, 1.31, 1.32, 1.33, 1.34, 1.35, 1.36, 1.37, 1.38, 1.39, 1.40, 1.41, 1.42, 1.43, 1.44, 1.45, 1.46, 1.47, 1.48, 1.49, 1.50, 1.51, 1.52, 1.53, 1.54, 1.55, 1.56, 1.57, 1.58, 1.59, 1.60, 1.61, 1.62, 1.63, 1.64, 1.65, 1.66, 1.67, 1.68, 1.69, 1.70, 1.71, 1.72, 1.73, 1.74, 1.75, 1.76, 1.77, 1.78, 1.79, 1.80, 1.81, 1.82, 1.83, 1.84, 1.85, 1.86, 1.87, 1.88, 1.89, 1.90, 1.91, 1.92, 1.93, 1.94, 1.95, 1.96, 1.97, 1.98, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 1.99, 
calculated rank value. This is what I'm going to substitute in the formula. How to substitute in the formula? We're going to see calculation for F4. This is nothing bad. F4, F4 calculated value. We are proceeding to find out what is F4 calculated value here. So now what is the formula here? So F4 is equal to 12, B, K, K plus one, et cetera. So what is my B, what is my K, what is my R square? I'm going to substitute here, okay. Now you see here, what is B here? Okay, how many blocks are there? See, for example, patient one, patient two, patient three, patient four, patient five, and drug A and drug B and drug C is given. So how many blocks are there? This is one particular value for patient. So one, two, three, four, five blocks. So I'll call this B as five blocks. Okay, five values corresponding to each um, patient. So five. Now, how many groups are there here? Okay, drug A, okay. Drug A is one group, drug B is another group, drug C is another group. So I'm getting three, three for K. Okay, so five into three, now K plus one I have written here. Now, this is the value previously we have calculated some of the ranks. Then as usual, B, I wrote it here. Then B will be blocks is five blocks. Then K will be three plus one. Okay, now K plus one is three plus one. This is what I'm going to calculate now. Calculate the value now. What happens to here? Okay, so this three goes how many times? Four times and four and three plus one goes here. So one by five into 332, 332 by five. Then this is three into a five is 15. And then three plus one is four. I'm going to add the, uh, just calculate this value. So 332 divided by five minus 60. I'm going to calculate this as 66.4 minus 60. So my FR, I will call it as calculated value 66 minus 60. So it is 6.4 is the 0.4. Okay. So this is what is my um, F calculated value. Now I'm going to find out FR critical value. So F for critical value, how I'm going to calculate? I'm going to calculate degrees of freedom. Degrees of freedom is nothing but K minus one. So there are three types, three groups. That is K is three here. So K is three for me. So three minus one, my degrees of freedom comes around two here. Now, where to find out this critical? So which table for this F for table? So we have to have the question here now. Now, this F4 value is calculated from the chi-square table. That's what you have to remember here, okay? This is important. So I have to check this F4 value in chi-square table for two degrees of freedom, which comes around 5.991. If you do not know how to calculate these values, just visit our channel to see the previous uh, videos. There we have explained how to calculate the critical value from the particular table here. So now, uh, keep it in mind, F4, F for value, F suffix R, I can call it as, okay, F value. I can calculate it from chi square. This has got nothing to do with this ANOVA table. We have to keep it in mind, okay? So now I'm going to calculate the chi square value. So chi square value comes around 5.991. So I will call this as critical value. So I have got two values with me. One is calculated value. Another one is the critical value. As usual, we are going to compare it, okay? Now, what is the conclusion we are going to draw here? now? Uh, just pardon me, this is a small error here. Okay, if our calculated value is, uh, this is what is given here. I have to check it 6.4. That's a small error, okay? All right, right. Now, F4 is equal to 6. Point. Now, here, this F critical value. Now, if our critical value is 5.991, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare them. Then here, you have to uh, take it as uh, the F4 value only, okay? Now, F4, uh, calculated value as it is greater than uh, the F for critical value here. Okay, there is a small error in this. So I just wanted to ask, ask for an apology here, FR, and this should be FR. Then this also should be FR, and this also should be FR. Please make a correction here. Okay, my apologies. Okay, for this, right. Now, FR, Calculated value is greater than F for critical value. Therefore, the conclusion is the null hypothesis rejected a 5% level of significance. Now, uh, inference is we conclude with 95% confidence that there is a difference between medians of the population. So the three drugs differ from each other, okay? 
each other in in terms of response time okay in terms of response time that's what is my conclusion i have done it okay so if you like this video kindly subscribe to my channel uh, thank you very much have a nice day